Hi friends, it's your art teacher, Miss Barnett, and in this week's lesson called Animal Expressions, we've been talking about how artists use special lines like curvy lines and spirals and wiggly lines to show movement in animals. So what we're going to do today is we are going to create a animal and we're going to show movement. So to get started, we're going to brainstorm. Let's brainstorm. Activate those amazing artist brains. And what we're going to brainstorm for today is creatures that can be, that move and can be drawn with lines that show movement. And I've got a couple on my list already to get you started. So we have snakes and butterflies and grasshoppers. I want you to take a minute and pause the video and really think about what you could add to this brainstorm list. I'm gonna pause it here and we're gonna come back and I'll give you more information. Great, now that you've had your brainstorming time and you've added to that list, I'm going to, and I want you to get a piece of scrap paper and we're gonna experiment with some lines that might show movement. So maybe we talked about curvy lines, can definitely show movement. We could do spirally lines. Those show movement. How about a wiggly line? Excellent. What about a zigzag? Cool. Ooh, what about a dash line? I can turn a dash line into a curvy or a wiggly line just by changing the direction. So now that we've experimented with some of these lines, go ahead and you experiment too. And I'm gonna talk about what you're going to need today to do today's assignment. You're going to need a piece of paper. I'm using a 12 by 18 sheet of paper, but any size paper you have is totally fine. You're gonna want some drawing materials. If you like to sketch before you draw to get your idea right on the paper, you're gonna want a pencil and maybe an eraser. If you're not worried about that, that's fine too. You're gonna want just some crayons and some markers to draw your animal. So, now I want you to think about, <laughs> now that you've got your animal and you've experimented with these types of lines, I want you to think about which lines are you're gonna use with the animal that you've picked, and I'm gonna start uh, working on my picture, and you can watch. Let's go. All right, kiddos, here's my completed animal expression project, capturing animals and movement and showing lines to show the movement. I've used short curve lines, zigzag lines, dashy kind of lines, thin and thick lines to show how these insects are moving in and out of this garden. I hope you have just as much fun making your animal expression picture. Use your imagination, don't stress, do your best, forget the rest, and have fun. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.